Hello everyone, today we are going to carry out structural analysis of an overhand beam in SOLIDWORKS. What you will learn? How to evaluate traction forces, how to treat development structure as a beam, and how to plot shear forces and bending moments diagrams, and how to calculate traction forces, moments, magnitude and tractions, and in last, how to plot superimposed deformation model. So, Let's start. Our first step is to model a beam using weldment. Open SOLIDWORKS, gain units to millimeter and set front plane. Sketch a line. Sketch a three lines. Add relations to these two segments. Equal relations. Give dimensions to center part. That is 1000 millimeter and small part that is 250 millimeter. Okay, exit from sketch now. Select sketch and go to weldment, structure model. From here, define a section. Define these three lines, these will make a single group. Okay. So we make a beam with I section. Add it and change the orientation of profile that to 90 degree. You can see how profile changed. It's a zero degree and this is 90 degree. Okay. Our second step is start simulation study now. So start SOLIDWORKS simulation module from addends. Already added to start new structural static structure simulation study. Give a specific name to your simulation study. Okay. Then assign a material to this beam. First, treat this weldment as a beam. Added definition. Okay. This by default, this is a beam. Just verify all these segments from added definition and ensure that these are. Subjected as a beam. Now assign a material that is aluminum alloy. Next step is to assign supports and loads. From solid fixture. Select fixed support, select these two joints. Okay. So we applied, we have applied fixed support. From loads, select force and select this beam option. Select this beam. This are uh, the four directions. Select front planes and specify. A value be careful in defining directions okay similarly we will apply loads in other sections select beams and select this part of beam run directions and change the directions force plane in y directions. Yes, we have done this. Please subscribe and soul if you are new to here. Thank you. So run our simulation study and wait. Step four, evaluate shear force diagram, burning moment diagrams, ETCs. Keep the front view. Added definitions. 
and you can change the scale you can make it a give user defined okay this is superimposed information model check it and transparent value this is the undefined model in form of superimpose animated you can see how beam is deforming due to applied loads next is to define factor of safety for all three these three beams this is the value of factor of safety the minimum value of factor of safety i think there is no problem with our design now calculate now we are going to calculate the shear force diagrams you can see a shear force diagrams sorry shear moment diagrams you can we can see the two values at applied fixed nodes similarly this will be in other planes switch to the views top or that's the top so in this way we have created shear force and bending moment diagrams in solidworks please uh, if you have any query just give your ask uh, any questions in comments again we are going to show superimposed model now now next step is to calculate traction forces of beams select front planes select joints we will see the reaction forces and their reactions about these joints so in this way we have calculated the reaction forces and movements about fixed support i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please never forget to subscribe and soul thank you for watching Take care. Goodbye.